Normally in my field of work, you break a record by 0.1, maybe 0.2. To break it by a whole degree is just, is beyond anything I've seen before. If you thought you didn't do a lot of shoveling last winter, you're right. The winter of 2023, 2024 in Canada was the warmest on record. Our temperatures for Canada as a whole was about uh, 5.2 degrees above our baseline average, which is 1.1 degrees above the next closest record. The warmth ensured significant impacts in Canada, but we saw both good and bad impacts. Say you're in an urban environment, uh, there's going to be less cost to uh, cleaning streets, for instance. Uh, so there's a, a plus. But then you have the recreational side of things. Places like Ottawa, where the Rideau Canal opened for a couple of days this year, obviously would have taken a, a big hit on tourism. Ski hills are going to be impacted. So the big question is, why? So climate change is definitely a driver. Now, is it the only contributor? Uh, that's hard to say. We, we know that there was an El Nino. We know that that tends to warm up uh, the planet. But there's also above normal temperatures in all the oceans around Canada. You know, is this the first step of the ocean actually not being able to absorb as much heat as it has in the past? Or is it just a phenomena of, you know, fluctuations in the normal climate system? Despite the drastic warmth, Bob isn't pessimistic. I have seen a dramatic shift in people's attitudes in the past year when it comes to climate change. They are seeing the impacts of what we've been talking about for the last 30 years. And I think people are kind of waking up to the fact that this is going to actually affect me.